हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन वेलकम टू आर इंग्लिश क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू फॉर्म्स ऑफ द वर्ब सो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज अ वर्ब व्हाट इज अ वर्ब एक्चुअली अ वर्ब इज अ वर्ड विच इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब एन एक्शन अ वर्ब इज अ वर्ड अ वर्ब इज अ वर्ड विच इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब एन एक्शन नाउ वॉट इज एन एक्शन एन एक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक नाउ वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम स्पीकिंग सो वॉट इज स्पीकिंग स्पीकिंग इज एन एक्शन वट एवर थिंग वट एवर वर्क टास्क वट एवर वी आर डूइंग और वट एवर इज हैपनिंग गोइंग ऑन अकरिंग ऑल दो थिंग्स आर एक्शन लाइक स्पीकिंग टीचिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग स्विमिंग बेंडिंग सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स सो ऑल दो आर एक्शन एंड वट वी कॉल टू एक्शन एक्शन आर वर्ब्स क्लियर like now you all are watching this video so what is watching watching is an action which you are performing okay and you are listening also listening is also an action so basically it is a task a work any thing which we are doing or which is happening which is going on that is an action and that is a verb to describe that action to Uh, tell about that action we use the word and that word is called a verb clear clear everybody whatever task is happening going on whatever uh, we are uh, doing and happening so to describe that task that task is a action and to describe to tell about that action we use a word and that word is called a verb like i gave you the examples you all are listening the video you are watching the video i am speaking you are writing reading so all these are actions and to describe these actions we use a word and those words are called verbs clear students verb has a quality to change its form according to time of speech so as you are studying forms of the verb from grade 1 now you are in fifth standard so uh, you have studied about three forms of the verb but there are five forms of the verb but we will discuss only three forms of the verb now verb has a quality verb has a quality to change its form according to the time of speech it means Uh, you are you have done the tenses also, and you have observed in the tenses like sometimes we are using the base form of the verb, and sometimes we are using the past form of the verb. It depends upon the tense. So verb has a quality; it change its form according to time. When we are talking about the present, then uh, verb is different. When we are talking about the past or the future, then uh, form of the verb is different. As you have studied in forms of the verb also and in the tenses also because now in you are in fifth standard and you have done present past and future all the tenses you are aware about them and you know that we change the form of the verb in present tense past tense and future tense so we use different uh, uh, form of the verb in present then we change that form in when we are talking about past tense and when we are talking about future then also we change the form of the verb okay so verb has a quality it's a quality of a verb that it change its form according to the time okay remember it so students as i told you we will discuss about three forms of the verb first one is base form we call it v1 also or first form of the verb also then past form that is v2 or second form of the verb then past participle form that is v3 and third form of the verb now uh, let's discuss an example here first form of the verb is eat then second form of the verb of uh, eat is ate and third form is 
eaten. Now see in the examples how it changes its form according to time. In the first example I have written I like to eat chocolates. Now here I use the base form of the verb okay and it's a present tense simple present tense. Then in the second example I ate pasta in the morning. Now here I change the form of the verb from eat to ate and it's a simple past tense. Clear? In present tense we use base form of the verb. In past we change in, uh, its form and we use the second form of the verb. Then past participle. Here I have eaten a cake yesterday. Here eat changed to eaten. Okay. And I have used here present perfect tense. Like the action which I have performed. Okay. So as I told you, uh, form of the verb be, uh, form of the verb has a quality to change its form. Okay, according to the time. Clear. So now I will explain you forms of the verb. First one is awake, awoke, awoken. Awake means wake up from a sleep. Okay, when you open your eyes in the morning after a good sleep, that is awake. Like in this picture, see one girl is sleeping, asleep and one wake up. So, awake means wake up from sleep. Next is bend, bent, bent. Bend means to turn from straight to curve. Like see in this picture, a person is bending a wire. A person is bending a wire. And in the second picture, see a boy bent his body to touch his feet. So, bend means to turn from straight to curve. Then, bind, bound, bound. Bind means to tie. Like see in this picture, Hands, two hands are tied together with the cloth. So, bind means to tie. Uh, like in next picture, a uh, person is binding the newspapers with a string. So, bind means tie. Next is blow, blue, blown. Blow means when you fill air in your mouth and uh, put it out. You first of all, you fill the air in your mouth and then you put it out. That is blowing. Like in this picture, a girl is blowing the bubbles. And in the second picture, a boy is blowing a balloon. Next is burn, burnt, burnt. Burn. Actually, burn is an injury caused by exposure to heat or flame. When uh, on any part of our body, uh, an injury occurred due to heat or flame, that is burnt. Like in this picture, hand is burnt due to flame. Mm -hmm. Next is dig, dug, dug. Dig means to making a hole in earth with a tool or machine. When we make a hole in the earth with the help of any tool or any machine that is called dig. Like in this picture, a boy is digging the earth to make a hole. Next is draw, drew, drawn. For example, she has drawn a capsicum. Draw means when you make something with the pencil or pen. Like in this picture, a capsicum is drawn. Next is forget, forgot, forgotten. Like when you don't remember something or when something skipped from your mind. Like bhool jana. When something is skipped from your mind. Next is meet, met, Met means milna when you meet somebody. Then 
कीप कैप्ट कैप्ट मीन्स रखना लाइक आई हैव कैप्ट माई बुक्स इन द बैग नेक्स्ट हाइड हिड हिडन मीन्स छिपना लाइक अ कैट इज हाइडिंग अंडर द टेबल देन रीड रेड रेड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लिसन केयरफुली रीड रेड रेड नाउ स्पेलिंग्स आर सेम बट रीड मीन्स पढ़ना बट वेन वी कम टू द सेकेंड फॉर्म एंड थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड रीड देन वी प्रोनाउंस इट लाइक रेड रेड ओके बेस फॉर्म इज रीड देन रेड रेड स्पेलिंग्स आर सेम बट वेन वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर्म ऑफ दर्ब रीड इन पास्ट एंड पास्ट पार्टिसिपल देन वी प्रोनाउंस इट एज रेड क्लियर सो वेन यू हैव टू प्रोनाउंस इट इन द पास्ट एंड पास्ट पार्टिसिपल देन यू हैव टू प्रोनाउंस इट लाइक रेड रीड रेड रेड स्पेलिंग्स आर सेम ओके डोंट मेक एनी मिस्टेक इन द स्पेलिंग डोंट राइट आर ईड रेड ओनली इन प्रोनाउंसिएशन वी विल स्पीक इट लाइक रेड रेड रीड रेड रेड ओके कीप इन योर माइंड द नेक्स्ट इज ग्रो ग्रू ग्रोन ग्रो मीन्स इंक्रीज इन साइज गेट टॉलर लार्जर वेन देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन साइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल शी हैज ग्रोन विद लव एंड केयर मतलब वो प्यार और केयर के साथ बड़ी हुई है नेक्स्ट सेल सोल्ड सोल्ट सेल मीन्स वेन वी गिव समथिंग टू सम वन एंड टेक मनी फॉर दैट ओके वेन वी गिव एनी थिंग समथिंग टू सम बडी एंड वी टेक मनी फॉर दैट दैट इज सेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे सेल द वेजिटेबल्स इन द मार्केट नेक्स्ट इज होल्ड हेल्ड हेल्ड होल्ड मीन्स कैरी समथिंग विद hands like in this picture a mother is holding a baby in her arms next is shake shook shaken shake means moving up and down or from side to side rapidly when something move up and down or from side to side rapidly that is shaking like in this video a tree is shaking next is shrink shrank shrunk shrink means when something becomes smaller in size like in this picture first of all a t-shirt is bigger in size and after washing it becomes smaller in size so we can say a t-shirt shrinks okay so shrink means when something becomes smaller in size next is steel stole stolen steel means to take something without permission when you take something without somebody's permission it means you have stolen that thing like for example she has stolen my pen next leave left left leave means go away from for example we will leave at 3 pm from the school next is fly flew flown like see in this video birds are flying in the sky students i hope all of you have understood all the forms of the verb which we have discussed in this video so thank you very much for watching the video and have a nice day